it's Keith. So a lot of people have had these diesel heaters like I do, and we're trying to find creative ways to take that tick, tick, tick sound and turn it into something a little bit better. So I have two strategies and I'll show you one right now. And I've been kind of working with this and playing with this a little bit. Now my heater is not inside the cab here. It's inside one of the cabinets. Then I have the heat blowing up, but I'll just show this to you right now. because It's pretty quiet minus some planes flying over. But I think for a good night's sleep and just not to hear that tick, tick, tick sound, I'll show you what I did and uh, maybe it'll work for you. And I think it's a simple solution and it's all compact and let me just show you. Let's go check it out. So to begin, I have this thing on the maximum setting, right? Um, I have the three button guy. So this is at uh, 3.2 Hertz and I can make a whole video on the difference between Hertz but for the sake of this discussion, this is the highest speed that this will operate on uh, the, of the, uh, the, the fan motor. And you can probably hear it right now in here. So what I did, which is probably a little bit unusual, is that I wanted to keep it inside below where the spare tire was. And what I did was I said, okay, if I, if I want a lot of heat, I'll do that. If I don't want a lot of heat, I'll do that. So here's the little hose right here, which you can see. And I'm gonna get a little 90 to come out and poke out here. But essentially, I've used this a few different times. If you want a little more heat, you open this guy up. And also uh, address the issue of, um, of sound. So if you hear that, that gets super hot, but you really can't hear the pump, right? So let's go around, let me go show you that. I think it'll be really interesting to see. I'm not in this beautiful park today, just kind of demonstrating this and you can also hear the exhaust going that's pretty quiet so overall it's pretty quiet right but you can hear a little bit of noise when I go in there and you'll understand in a second you hear a little bit of thun 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 but it's not that bad actually so for those that don't know I have the fuel tank mounted there and I also put a valve in which is also really important so you can kind of work on it and I did buy some black hose I'm not sure I really like the uh, the factory hose, but I'm, I bought some, so I'm just, again, experimenting right now. But what did I do here? Let's see if I could adjust this a little bit. So for those that didn't know, I elevated mine a little bit. I put some L brackets, and then I mounted this up here because I had to deal with this difficulty of the turn because of the way this thing was uh, designed, right? You can kind of see what I did here. I took a, a fitting from plumbing and made the little extension. And again, as I mentioned over here, I'm going to put a little 90 piece that I can kind of poke right out. And then again, in here I have the fuses. I actually repurposed this. This was actually already here. I just put this guy in here so I can access the fuses and the electrical. So I didn't really change much, but just kind of did that. Okay, so now listen quietly. You almost can't even hear it. So what did I do here? I put some foam and that's this foam stuff. So I made a little a cutout. So I took two pieces. One of them I kind of embedded uh, the, the uh, motor. So I made a little cutout like a mold and I used that. And then this stuff, if you can see here, is the same as that stuff. So what is that stuff? This stuff and that stuff is the same. That is the material that they use to wrap around uh, motorcycle exhaust pipes so it stays cool or manifold. So I figured it does get a little hot in here because when I've been out a few times, like I'll show you right now, real time, sorry, that this guy gets super hot. 250 something degrees. So yeah, you don't want to touch that exhaust pipe. But I also realized it does a couple different things, right? 224, but the, the fresh air intake that's 80 degrees and that's 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 fine if I go over here and hit the uh, that pipe that says 184 which is why I have it protected all the way up see over here 173 so it does get hot in this room which is what I want to do is create like a little furnace room and but I also wanted to say okay what's this gonna be like if I use this right 
So 73 degrees. Again, this is all Fahrenheit for um, the Americans and everybody else. I apologize in advance. But I decided to wrap this uh, with uh, two pieces and two sections. And um, it seems to be working well. I used some, tie some zip ties for this first setup. And then I used um, the stainless steel guys here. So it's kind of, it really can't move. It's based upon how far it can go in so far as the, um, the wiggle room. So when you open and close the door, you can do that. But again, you can almost hear the tick, 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 tick. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna reposition my uh, tripod for you. Give me one second here so we can make it nice and low. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and we'll experiment with, okay, based upon the, the highest setting, what is it like on the lowest setting, right? So once you get your, your vehicle up to, I would just say the desired temperature, then what do you do? So we're gonna go over that right now. One second here. Let me set up the tripod. So you're gonna be able to hear it before I do. I'm gonna leave this here. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down to its lowest setting. Be right back. Okay, so now where are we at? Now we're at P 1.0, right? And now you can subtly hear the heartbeat. Tick, tick, tick. So you can hear it out here. And let's go inside and I'll just show you. So we realize that these motors do like this little pulse, right? When it's, it has like a little ram in there and it goes up and down to, to shoot the uh, liquid and by the way when I made this foam I did make it on an angle so this thing is encapsulated it goes in low and goes out high on the back end and I can take this thing out if I need to to work on it or anything and if you hold it you can feel a little bit of pulse but I want to again protect it for two reasons number one is it's right near the exhaust pipe and I thought this is actually if it works for addressing issues of um, heat, it would also maybe deal with some issues of uh, vibration and sound. So let's go inside and let's see if you guys can hear it. And again, let's just do a little temperature test again. Okay, so that was 276 degrees. This guy is 74, so negligible. This is 83, it's the outside air temperature is kind of hot. And then this is the ex the output pipe, um, the outside, 186 degrees. Um, so it does get pretty hot in that pipe. But let's go inside and check it out. Actually, yeah. So let's let's go and actually, let me just go close the door. This is all real time. Let's go close the door and see if you can. Doesn't muffle that sound some perspective. Let me come in and simulate real time. So it's very subtle. And again, I really like this little heat gun. I highly recommend it uh, to get one. This is inside the pipe. That's 183 degrees, so it's pretty warm. And the air is coming out really nice. So this has been my experience. Like I said, I'm going to get a little 90 I ordered. It'll come out, so it'll just kind of poke through here. So when I want to have heat, I can, and you can open and close this. But As you're sitting in here right now, like you can actually sleep, like you and Big Bird over here, you can sleep well. You almost can't hear it. If I close that door, you really can't even hear it. And then if I open this one, like I said, I've done this camping. So at nighttime, the air just kind of slowly billows and I have a clip fan that'll clip on here and I can blow the air um, through the ambulance. So you can subtly hear the thud, thud, thud. So another thing I was thinking about doing is maybe just suspending it. So if we go back out there, 
some time. Another idea that I had was taking, uh, like hanging this thing, like suspending it in air. And I, I, I did build a box here, but it was just so small and so tight. I just didn't like the, the box layout. And I'm sure I can move this underneath the ambulance outside somewhere. Um, because if it's cold outside, it doesn't matter. But even if it was outside, I didn't want to hear that thud, thud, thud outside. So, and I'm sure as you can even see here, let's see if I stop moving the camera, you can even see the pipe moving, right? So it creates a vibration through the whole system. Like if you have your hand on here, you can hear going thud, 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 thud. But this is, uh, you know, step one. I have one other idea that I have not disassemble this and put it back together but this is my we already know what it what it's like when I had it hanging here on the little bolt and a little rubber thing it was pretty loud it was unenjoyable but I think this is a good first step under low so anyway hopefully this is helpful and this is an idea for you again it's just some foam you can get this at craft stores um, you can buy it online and Amazon and then this again you can get a million different places and I'll share my links of where this is where to get this as well and again, these, these, these guys you can get anywhere. But anyway, this is a little creative approach to um, the diesel heater dilemma. And also, again, I highly recommend getting one of these guys so you know exactly what the temperature is um, at all times so you can kind of verify and validate the information that you're getting and being objective about it. Okay, have a great day.